everyone! If you weren't already aware, or if you're new here, my name is Karina and I'm the curator for Owlcrate. The Owlcrate team and I wanted to give all of you a chance to get to know us a little bit better, so each of us are going to be filming our own 25 bookish facts about me video, and I'm first up. So make sure you watch all the way to the end because my 25th bookish fact is actually my biggest bookish secret, so you're not going to want to miss it. So number one is that whenever I'm reading, I'm almost always eating popcorn. I love eating snacks while I read and it kind of helps me just concentrate a little bit. So if I'm not eating popcorn, I am most likely sipping tea or coffee. Number two is that my favorite place to read is on my couch right next to my big living room window. I just like how the light comes into the room and that's where I enjoy reading. So number three is that over the last few years, I've come to realize that my favorite author is Victoria Schwab, also known as V.E. Schwab. I just find that her books are so consistently good and they really speak to my soul. So one series that will always have a very special place in my heart, even though it's a bit of a guilty pleasure, is the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. And the reason why I love this series so much is actually how I got into it because it's quite a unique story. So I first heard about Twilight when I think I was about 17 years old and the way that I heard about it was actually from some of my male friends and my youngest brother. It was all guys who got me into this series. Now, they were quite embarrassed that they liked it, so what we would do is we would go to the coffee shop and read our Twilight books with the dust jackets off so that nobody could judge us. I just thought it was quite funny that t my two male friends are like these big mountain guys and you would never expect that they would like something like Twilight, but they were huge fans. We even drove an hour and a half to go see the first movie, but they were quite devastated by the adaptation. So when I first started Owlcrate, I would say that fantasy was probably one of my least favorite genres, but now fast forward three years later and it has become one of my absolute favorite genres. I love that reading books for Owlcrate has allowed me to step outside of my own comfort zone and really broaden my own reading taste as well. So my favorite type of bookmarks to use are actually magnetic bookmarks which look kind of like this and I just love them because they're really easy to kind of just <clears throat> put on your page like so and they like to stay put and it's just I'm way less likely to lose them this way and they're also just really cute and I have like quite a big collection of these guys so if you ever want to see that in a video let me know. So my favorite series besides Harry Potter of course is The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater followed very closely by the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab and if the third and final book in the Folk of the Air series by Holly Black is as good as these first two then this will also be high up on my list. My favorite bookstore that I've ever been to is Village Books in Fairhaven, Washington. It's a really beautiful independent bookstore with multiple levels, awesome community events, and fantastic staff. The only form of books that I can personally read are physical books. I have tried to read audiobooks as well as ebooks and it just doesn't work for me, which is a bit of a bummer because I really feel like I could read a lot more books if I read all sorts of different mediums, but it's physical books for me all the way. I definitely prefer hardback books to paperback books. I just find that I... I'm way more likely to damage a paperback book, and I really like how hardcovers look. I am someone who has no shame in buying multiple different editions of the same author's books. I love collecting books, especially from my favorite authors. Um, so I have quite a wide variety of editions of books by V.E. Schwab, Maggie Stiefvater, Adam Silvera, Becky Albertalli, and Rainbow Rowell, just to name a few. So if you look at my Goodreads account, you will see that I very rarely ever rate books lower than three stars. This isn't because I'm blessed with reading only good books, it's because I am a notorious DNFer, which means do not finish. So I am someone, if I'm reading a book that I'm not enjoying, I do not force myself to finish it, and I also don't feel like it's fair to rate books that I haven't finished, which is why you'll see very few negative reviews on my Goodreads account. Because so much of my time is spent reading upcoming releases for Owlcrate, I very rarely get to go back and read older titles and older series. Because of this, there's quite a few really popular YA like trilogies that I have not finished yet. The Grisha trilogy, the Mortal Instruments, Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy are just a few that I have not finished yet. I feel quite lucky that I can read pretty much anywhere without being distracted or getting motion sickness. Like I can read in cars, on planes, in trains, in busy cafes, pretty much anywhere, which is great for me because I get a lot of reading done while we're traveling. So the genres that I personally reach for the least are probably historical fiction and science fiction, so if you have any recommendations I would love to hear them because I do 
want to kind of fix that about myself. My favorite books when I was a kid were definitely the Goosebumps books by R.L. Stein. I had so many of them and I just loved spooky books and TV shows when I was a child, which is quite funny because I'm quite the scaredy cat now. So I definitely think of myself as more of a reader versus a writer, and I don't really have any dreams of becoming an author in the future, but I do have ideas to write a cookbook and a graphic novel. So who knows, maybe someday. So one weird thing I do when I'm reading, I'm very bad at handling suspense in books, and I often spoil myself. So if I'm reading a book and there's a very tense scene, something really important is about to happen, like let's just say a character's like true name is about to be revealed or something, and I'm reading it over here, and I know that it's gonna be revealed on like the next page, my eyes will just immediately jump to the next page and spoil myself. So there's been many times where I've had to like physically hide it so that I don't do that so that I can have the full experience of reading it. It's very annoying and I wish I could stop doing it. The way that I very first discovered the Harry Potter books was actually from my grandmother. I distinctly remember being nine years old and she gave me Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for Easter and this was back when that like the Harry Potter books were still very new they were not well known yet and the only reason why she bought it was because a bookseller recommended it to her, saying that she thought that I would like it. And I'm just so grateful to both the bookseller and my grandmother for giving me this wonderful gift. I've been lucky enough to attend quite a few book festivals and um, like author events, and yet I still get extremely nervous and shy every time I'm in an author signing line. I always force a friend to go with me and quite often I will literally push them in front of me in the line so that they have to speak to the author first and I'll kind of just be hiding behind their shoulder. It's quite embarrassing as the owner of Owlcrate that I get so shy meeting authors but it's just the truth. So I'm quite specific with what I need in order for a book to become one of my favorites. It needs to have a kind of creepy atmospheric setting with just a slight hint of magical or paranormal elements without being scary. And it also has to have characters that are really well developed with amazing friendships. And The Raven Cycle by Maggie Seawater kind of captures all of these elements perfectly, which is why it is my favorite series. I absolutely love reading books that are set in small towns. I personally grew up in a small town, so whenever I read a book that's also set in one, it's just very nostalgic and comforting for me. I buy some of my books online, but the vast majority I buy at local bookstores. I just love the entire experience of going to the bookstore, browsing the shelves, talking to the awesome staff there, and online shopping just will never compare to that experience. I truly feel that books and reading are some of the most important parts of life, and I'm just so grateful every single day that I get to work at a job where I'm so invested in the literature community and the bookish community. So thank you for supporting Owlcrate and allowing me to do this. Okay, here it is. Please don't hate me. Please don't send me hate comments. But I have never actually completed the Harry Potter series. I have read six out of the seven books multiple times. I've watched all of the movies. I'm a huge fan. I have a Harry Potter tattoo, but I have never actually read Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I have tried to read this book, I think three or four times, and I can never get past the halfway mark. I have no idea what it is about this book. I've watched the movie many times and I love it. And so I know that I enjoy the plot, but I just have not been able to complete it and it's something that I truly hate about myself. <laughs> I'm so ashamed. So hopefully someday, seriously, I, I just don't know what it is, you guys. Um, let me know if anyone else struggled with this book because I just don't understand why I can't get through it. But that is my biggest bookish secret. It's something I don't like to share, but I wanted to share with you guys. So those were 25 bookish facts about me. I would love to know if any of you guys share my opinions or my reading tastes. Every member of the Owlcrate team will be filming one of these bookish facts about me videos, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps our channel, and don't forget to subscribe. Happy reading, and thanks for being awesome. Bye!